Alright, so if you want to beat proper players like this, then watch the end of the video to see how you beat them in the short maps with this new strategy. Alright, what's up guys? King Bo's back. Um, yeah, just quickly looking at this depressing ass leaderboard. Uh, last week we were four, we'd have been in the lead by four million. But uh, we chose to grind last week and not this week, so uh, yeah, it's a bit of a rip, but um, oh well. Um, so today we have the strategy jam packed, team power stun, and lightning bolts. Now, this strat is especially good for the really short maps the Zen Gardens, the Mountain Pass, and then the one I can never remember the name of for the life of me. Well, our first opponent is Shark. Uh, he, had, he had a decent account, and he had some top 100 badges, he had a top 100 prestige, like 7 mil beds, so uh, he was decent. And then, um, yeah, so we're going to show these on double speed. And um, yeah, so everyone plays uh, Dazzling Boomer Palm pretty much for these uh, short maps. It's uh, because of, it's probably the, it's probably the best sh uh, short map strat because of uh, being the best uh, early game strat. And uh, that's why for grinders it's used so much because it's so efficient at having quick games. And uh, anyways, I'll do a video on Dark Boomer Boomer Farming depth later, but uh, so as we can see, I have a plantation up early, and he's going for the uh, heavy eco to try and force Dartling upgrades, so we're using lightning to um, soften that up, yeah, another Dartling down, he's going to use his knockouts, we're going to use another lightning bolt, so that was nice, so we've got to use it through the knockout, and uh, he's now quite poor, he's doing upgraded balloons and sent regen right, so... It was even more money, so I decided to jam pack since he got his boomerang down. Team towers done it straight away so that they um, uh, keep going past, and so we got that win. And the thing about the uh, jam pack is that when the balloons are near the end, when the team tower's done, the life count shoots down really quick as comparison to the super balloon boost where they get to the end, more get to the end, but um, the life count doesn't go down as rapidly. And uh, so that's how we won that game. This game we have Dilly, who is uh, quite well known. He has a big YouTube channel with tons of subscribers. So I'm sure everyone already knows him because of a tiny channel. But um, yeah, so he's much better at his defensive strats and uh, not the most offensive strats. But um, big up Dilly for using the team tower stun and uh, being more aggressive. And I think he skipped the map before. So it's industrial, so that's the one. Yeah. Industrial zone, and I'm one of the three short maps. Uh, these are the three shortest maps which I have today. And uh, yeah, so he's farming, I'm farming, and um, yeah, so we're just gonna send him a little green rush just to because he's just got his plantation up. I knew he would be able to uh, afford much quickly and we'd be able to take some lives of that and force the second dustling gunner. So we can tie him in farms. I think we had it at the same time. Yeah, our farms are equal. We have a, oh, he has a high eco, but then he's using the super eco boost. And uh, I know from this point that I can't beat him with yellows. Uh, my lightning bolts just decides it hates me. So um, it does that. But um, yeah, so because he, he just needs to sell a farm and get the um, Blade Lord and then he'd be fine. So I decided I'm going to send leads. And then I'm going to rush him, not very common rush, but I'm going to jam packed in whites. And that gets so many pinks so quick that when they get far, and there's the dustling kind of lag, they just get rid of their health so quickly. And um, the best thing about the whites is that you, if your opponent playing quick shot team tower stun, it's a really strong rush before round 13, so they can't quick shot team tower stun you uh, in time. And now the final one against Chief's Prodigy, the guy from the start of the video, he had a top three prestige badge. Now, I don't think he's as good as the Chief, but um, he's still a really decent player. And um, but yeah, so as a grinders, you got to uh, um, you can either use or well, the main strats used are this one or the one I showed uh, yesterday. And um, yeah, you go to I really love the short maps because. Um, short maps means you can use these strats which provide shorter games and then uh, more wins with uh, less time with shorter games, yeah, so you get more games done anyway, so we messed up quite bad here by using our lightning bolts too early so we had to use two 
to prevent him getting a full salted off. You know, because he used the salted right, we used it early, and then you wait until they do something and then knock it out at a later point because the salted wounds last so long. And uh, we kind of mess up here because there was loads of greens there. It wasn't like as it was much worse than it looked on the uh, replay. That's why we sold the farm to uh, be able to defend. So uh, now we're gonna jam packed yellows just because I didn't like his defense that much, and uh, got him to sell some stuff. He put the wrong tower down, so uh, that was nice. And we got a fair few lives off of him there, and get the glaive lord down. Uh, he knocks it out. We at the slowest ever speed rebuy it. Don't even get the right upgrade. So this was a bit of a nightmare. Uh, this game was not played very well at all by me. Uh, we used all our lightning so early. And um, it's just uh, thankful that we have our jam-packed whites. Um, he has his acids, which is my least favourite power, but um, these jam-packed strats are really good at getting through the um, the acid. So um, yeah, we got through him, and uh, he was not very happy. He was very spamming me. But um, yes, so um, that is today's video. I was going to do a live one, but you need to find a short map, and that would take forever, and... A really busy day outside, so um, yeah, I'll probably do boss arenas tomorrow, so uh, yeah, bye.